What's up YouTube and welcome to this achievement slash trophy guide here in Murdered Soul Suspect. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Bell Tower Banshee achievement slash trophy which requires you to uncover the Bell Tower Banshee ghost story by collecting the collectibles found within the church the first time you go through. I'm not 100% sure if you can do it the second time that you come through here. However, that first one right there is right on your right as soon as you spawn in. Second one's going to be upstairs and on the opposite side of the organ. Through this door, you'll notice one of those stupid poop hole things that the demons come out of. And it's going to be right there on the ground. That is our second one. Nine more to go. Our next one is going to be located right in the middle of the church itself, right next to a couple pews. You can find it right on the ground. Our next one is located to the right of the stage and the altar. Through the door that reads Rectory, it'll be right here on the wall. After collecting that one, you can continue through this door, and on the right side you'll find another one laying up against the wall. To avoid spoilers, I cut out the cutscene and we're going to continue through into the rectory itself. We're going to turn right and go through our first door right here, and right on the ground next to these two people in this wheelchair is our next saw. Continuing through the house, our next saw will be located to the left of a staircase blocked off by a demon poop hole. You'll make your way into this room and have to fight off a demon, but once you do, you can cut through into this little cubby type room and right on the ground will be our next saw. Making our way out of the kitchen, we're going to turn to the right, and right up against the wall on our right side is going to be yet another saw, but we're not done. We're going to turn directly around and head through that door right there in a second, there we go, and through this door just at the back right hand corner will be another saw. You'll have to continue the mission far enough to begin the investigation in the attic, and you're going to head straight through this door after the cutscene, and our last saw will be right there on the ground. If this is your first time collecting all of them, you should get the achievement pop right there. And now I'm going to play the ghost story for you guys, and after that we will say our farewells. It was somewhere around noon on a Sunday when I got a call from the pastor. He was looking for someone to fix up the old church. It had been sitting up on that hill, abandoned for over 40 years after getting hit by lightning back in 98 and suffered a bunch of fire damage. So of course I, I agreed to help. I knew something was wrong the second I stepped inside as an, an inexplicable chill came over me. Anyway, I, I shook it off and I, I set to work. As I started tearing up the damaged floorboards, they were all bad. Well, I uncovered an old rat's nest. It seemed like any of the others I'd seen over my 22 years in the construction business until I saw the scraps of human hair and bones that the rats had used to make it. Well, suddenly I, I heard the floorboards on the second floor creaking above me and the sounds of a young girl weeping. Well, you know, I was worried that the damaged section of the ceiling was going to give away under her weight. So, you know, I, I yelled, hey, you know, stop, come down immediately. Well, my voice must have startled her because she went completely silent. So I got up and I, I went to look for her. When I entered the room upstairs, though, I was surprised to see it completely empty. It only took me, you know, a minute to make my way up there, and I would have heard her run off if she did that's when I heard the weeping again. Only this time it was coming from the bell tower. So I, I climbed up the long, treacherous, curving stairs at the top, and I, I noticed what I thought was dried blood dotting the way. When I finally got up to the belfry, I was just paralyzed with terror. Because lying before me was the withered corpse of a young girl. Judging by her sun-bleached clothes and weathered bones, it, it seemed like she'd been lying there for the better part of those 40 years the place had been empty. The rats, I mean, they, they picked her bones clean. I, well, I took off running. I didn't stop until I got all the way to town. The ravages of time 
made it impossible for the authorities to get any identity on this girl. It seems Salem will never know who killed her. Some people still claim to hear her weeping there. As for myself, I never went back. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. If it did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, all that fun junk. Check down in the description for some awesome links, some awesome things, my Twitter, Facebook, donation page, a bunch of other things you might be interested in. Be sure to check out my playthrough of this game as well as all of my other collectibles guides for this game. And until tomorrow, ta-ra.